I didn't drink alcohol or cuss, say a bad word, for the entirety of 2023. TLDR, uh, I'm gonna do both again this year, in 2024. I'm gonna cuss, and I'm gonna drink. Here to share my thoughts on what that was like at age 25, 26, to do two things what most 25, 26-year-olds do, uh, almost as habitual, daily, weekly, monthly, whatever. As context, here is a video of mine declaring that I was gonna do this. Here's a tweet that I was gonna say that I was gonna do this. Here's a TikTok of mine saying that I was gonna do this. All of which, obviously one, for the attention and the views, but two, to keep myself accountable and to have the public be aware that I'm doing this. I've had most, if not all of my friends, including my family, uh, close friends, my girlfriend, also know that I was doing this so that they would also catch me in case I slipped up or was caught sneaking a drink, saying the F word, on camera or on text or whatever so that they know for a fact that I was following up. TLDR, uh, I'm gonna do both again this year in 2024. I'm gonna cuss, I'm gonna drink, uh, largely for what follows. So I think to give a little bit of context, I have been cussing since third grade. That's probably the biggest, largest resume item in my life experience. It's something that I've been doing for 22 years. Terrible math, no. I've been doing it since I was third grade, so eight years old. I've been doing it for 16 years. No, 18 years, 17 years, if you don't count last year. I've been cussing for a long time. One of the biggest feats of my life. Uh, I'm quite good at talking, as some of you guys might know. I love talking, which follows uh, a need for further emphasis on things, which is ironic because you would reckon that if you are good at talking that you have other ways to express things but there are some ways there are some times that you want to be explicit especially in times of stress or to describe a highly uh, explicit story or if you get hurt if you bump your toe on a chair if you just want to say bad things about someone these are bad reasons to cuss in my opinion i think there's different ladders of cussing there's reasons to cuss the worst, I think, being making others feel bad if you call people certain names or if you explicitly call them out. That, I think, I am actually eliminating from my life uh, completely. You know, of course, there might be times that it comes up and I, I need to hold it down, but I, I recognize not doing that actually is healthy. But I will say, in terms of common batter or common chanter when you're talking with people, and there's just some things that you can use, words, explicit words that you can use to make fun of a situation or make fun of yourself. Um, I think it's okay. I don't think you're necessarily hurting anyone. Uh, it might make you look a little cheap, but there are some stances where, let's say you're someone that doesn't cuss that much, but you use it explicitly a couple times. People will know that you're trying to emphasize something or there's a reason you're saying it. So I think I'm moving away from this person that cusses indefinitely every single day, every moment of my life, which I in some way was, to using it purposefully. I also think that cussing when you bump into something or when you stub a toe or something, also somewhat healthy. There's plenty of research that actually shows that people who cuss live longer because their stress levels are down. I think having tried to hold myself together when I bump into something and saying, ah, poop, uh, didn't really make my life better. Uh, that's kind of the whole thesis of this, of why I'm coming and bringing back cussing and drinking in 2024 because neither actions I think really led to anything positive besides one perhaps making me more eloquent and finding words to replace those things and two uh, being shown as someone that can stick with things that they have said that they're accountable for and teaching myself that I can do things that I've set my mind to. Uh, on the front of drinking, I, I wasn't that excessive a drinker to begin with but I did, especially moving to New York, drink at least twice a week, uh, casually socially, uh, whether it be going out to bars and clubs or with friends. I think this helped in 2023 in probably two ways. One, um, appearing like I'm super principled and saying that I don't drink. Um, and two, uh, being healthy, of course, uh, biologically, in addition to my wallet being healthy, given that in any occasion I would not participate in drinking. When people were drinking, that would be a result of 10 to 20 to sometimes even hundreds of dollars at social gatherings. On the flip side, I think the irony is that in those two verbal and, I guess, liquidifying ways, I was quite healthy behavior last year, but it didn't really lead to any better health moments for me. I think my mental health and my physical health were probably the lowest they've ever been last year. Due to a wide variety of results, I don't think not cussing and not drinking led me to be unhealthier, but I would argue that there was some level of a lack of stress relief to a certain degree and not being fully myself that led me to 
be more stressed. This is in no way endorsing cussing or drinking, especially drinking, to relieve stress. But I think having a beer sometime with the boys or having one night, uh, maybe out of every six months, to really go out and celebrate a birthday and partaking in uh, taking a drink or so, I don't think is that bad. Uh, I'm not endorsing drinking, obviously, to anyone underage. Please stay away. Um, especially if you're struggling with alcohol, definitely get help. But I, I think this forced reduction, especially if I've never had a problem with alcohol, it wasn't an alcoholic problem, um, didn't think it really led to much. But more so, I think on the cussing front, I think if anything, me reducing cussing didn't really lead me to be a more positive speaker, someone that really lifted people up. I think you can, in fact, introduce cussing into your life and be a better speaker and be okay, uh, be encouraged to encourage others um, instead of focusing solely on not cussing and almost using that as an excuse to say you are now a positive impact person simply because you don't say explicit things. So all in all, I did this for a year. I, I did it pretty strictly. I'm sure I've slipped once or twice. I uh, didn't drink alcohol. If you know me personally, I'm sure you know that I've always said no to those things and you've seen me say things like what the heck or what the poop. Um, but I'm bringing both things back. <laughs> if, you guys, if you guys know me, 2024, you've already seen me the past three, four days. I am definitely going to cuss. I'm definitely going to drink. Uh, but I'm not endorsing those things. I'm just saying that there's ways to incorporate those things into your life in a relatively positive way. Uh, perhaps hot take, perhaps not the best middle of the 20s advice, but let me know your thoughts. Do you uh, struggle with cussing or drinking? Or is it something that you've learned to manage and control and it's really not a negative impact in your life? In fact, is it a positive impact in your life? We'd love to hear how that impacts your 20s. This is Brian John as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.